Alright, hello and welcome to Armored Core, my Armored Core 4 answer LP episode 3. Uh, we last left off, I was going through the Collard matches and I got through 10 of them. I figure we'll probably do 10 more and then we'll start working on the campaign and then once we get more parts, I'll work on the Collard matches some more after that point. So, for now. We'll do some more. There's been no changes to my AC. It's exactly as it was last episode with the very fancy paint job and the pair of machine guns. See, there we go. No changes. Let us fight Dosu with his next Starka. Now, as it says, he is uh, Technocrat's only Lynx. And. <laughs> Technocrat is basically, in this game's universe, the the Russian military, what's left of it, turned into a corporation, and all they can make is rockets, apparently. Don't know why, but in any case, this guy is very similar to uh, Commissary Johnny with his, uh, damn it, with his Kojima blade. However, this guy is way more accurate with his pile bunker. And his pile bunker is scary, because um, the 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 Kojima blade had an attack power of twenty six thousand. This thing, his his pile bunker, has an attack power of thirty six thousand, which is way more than enough to one hit KO the next, like even tank type next one hit KO. He is of course quite easy to kill. But, if you don't hammer him, he will quite easily kill you with his pile bunker. He also has rockets, which aren't really an issue, and then he has his, uh, I believe he has missiles. And of course he has his machine gun, which he, uh, throws the rockets. There we go. Yeah, th this guy right here, you definitely want to be careful with. Um, for anybody who doesn't take it serious, he can kill you with one direct hit with that pile bunker, so. May Greenfield. Now, May Greenfield is considered, is a fan favorite because of her, in her limited interactions with the player, she's quite uh, a cheery character. If her big green smiley face is uh, anything to go by. And... Her next is quite good, as far as nexts go, but it is quite slow on the mobility department. It also has 50,000 AP, so, yeah, um, it'll, it, it can take a lot of bullets. Yeah, so you technocrat, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Alright, let us begin. Look at that, 50,000 AP. Not anymore. <laughs> her, she, she gets a uh, her shoulder chain missiles can launch a barrage of 64 missiles, which if she gets a lock on and fires them, they can be quite powerful if you don't dodge them. Like that. <laughs> Because of her limited mobility, though, she can't put them to the best of use. I've actually rebuilt her design a couple of times. And the problem is the sunshine legs are just very bad in the mobility department. They look pretty decent, but their mobility sucks. Just really bad. Mary Gate is down. Oh, that was her next, by the way. Mary Gate. Um... This guy is con is hated by a lot of the community because he's a absolute pain in the ass. On 1.2. 1.4, he's not as bad. 1.2, he's... Oh, he's just spam boosting everywhere. Oh. Then we go back. He's also Espina's only Lynx. In, uh, in Armored Core 4, Joshua O'Brien... Uh, Brian? Blah, blah, blah. Joshua O'Brien, who piloted the original White Glint, was Espina's Lynx. And 
at that point, Espina was an independent colony, specializing in AMS stuff. And in this game, they have uh, Cube, who pilots Fragile, and they have their own next, which is the Sobrero, which is what his next type is. And uh, they're now allied with Omer, the bastards. <laughs> or maybe they're being threatened by Omer, who knows. But now, a lot of people find different ways of beating this guy, but I found them on 1.4 just dual machine guns, and you just have to... Because you can win a damage race with him purely because if you notice... Look at his AP meter. Look at that. He just has so little AP. It's not even funny. Also, they like to get stuck on the pillars in this map. map for some he likes to get stuck for some reason. But I've never had that much trouble with him. Then again, I've never fought him in the straight, pure, open oceans or anything like that. Where he can put his mobility to better use. But yeah, he just, it's just a case of just out damaging him because he has so little health that it doesn't take that long. Also, the Aaliyah, with its really high tracking speed and high arms, uh, arm movement and stuff, is really good for fighting him because you can just hold down the firing button in his general direction. Your arms will continue to track him, and there you go. It is no problem whatsoever. <laughs> Buster, you had so much trouble with this guy. Anyway, <laughs> Fragile is dead. Uh, Alright, next for Takafumi Arisawa. This guy does play a role in the game. Uh, you actually, you can get him as a, con a consort. That's the word I was thinking, trying to think of last episode. Um, he, uh, it, as an opponent, he's... Not that hard, but just like with both Starka and Kamisiri Johnny, he can do a lot of damage if he hits you. That's the thing. He's got to hit you. So, you know. But, uh, we shall see how this goes. For some reason, he likes to switch to his uh, Oigami cannon first, instead of the grenade arms, even though he'd get better results with the grenade arms. Just uh, holding down Al. Now that did 6,000 damage with my primal armor at max. If that had hit me with my primal armor down, that would have killed me. That's like the difference like that that is what primal armor does for you i've actually hit people with the oigami cannon when they're with their primal armor down oh it does so much damage and he's dead <laughs> oh right and dead get the state right and stabilizer new parts unlocked AC schematics, right in Sunshine L, Sunshine E. Alright. We're making our way up into the world. I'll be able to buy some new parts here after, here in the... I'll probably do that next episode. I'm just doing collard matches. Red Rum, or Shami, Shamir Ravi Ravi, I think. Shamir is, uh, she's actually, uh, you face, uh... Her in her next Red Rum in a mission combined, uh, uh, working together with Starka, and she can be very, very devastating. Her next is actually very, uh, very dangerous because it's reasonably fast and it's slug gun and shotguns and assault armor. She likes to use assault armor, can do a lot of damage. However, the Slug guns require point-blank range to do a lot of damage, something my machine guns don't need. Oh, and she will totally get it in close, just a PA bomb. It's... Of 
course, because I've been keeping her PA down, she can't. Let me see if I can get her to PA bomb. PA bomb, damn it! I want to see you PA bomb. As you can see, she is very fast. Like, being a... She's naturally fast as a quadruped, but she's too... Oh, there's the PA bomb. Not that it'll help her, but... Yeah, her next is uh, quite dangerous with its shotgun and slug gun. But, reasonably easy to defeat her because if she uses that PA bomb, you can machine gun her to death. On the mission, there's ECM and you have poor visibility. That's where her element, that's why she becomes really dangerous. Now, Ibris Ornstein, I think, Maraz is his uh, next... Quite a good, uh, reasonably decent pilot as well, with his reverse joint next. Unlike uh, Red Rum, his next is uh, poor in the turning department and isn't as fast, but it's much more aerial, mo air has a much better aerial mobility. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my throat. These recording sessions are killing my throat. I never thought there would be something I'd have to worry about. But, um... Oh, there we go. Yep. He, uh, he has a machine gun, assault, you know, just a rifle, a grenade launcher, which you just saw, as well as scatter missiles. Specifically, he has the Sapla grenade launcher, which is a lightweight grenade launcher. It, it, it's basically an RPG. A lightweight RPG. It looks like an RPG, but... Ow. One thing that a lot of algebra craft have is they have a lot of they have high AP for their weight class. Like, you know, he had a uh, yeah. I think he had more AP than I did at the start, or maybe not. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, so many numbers they all mix together. Unfortunately, his relatively poor turning speed means he's just mincing me any time he gets near the ground. You know, and he's dead. <laughs> Look at that. Ibris Ornstein is dead. New stabilizers, new parts, more AC schematics. Yeah. See, you actually get quite a decent amount of parts just from completing Collard matches, so something to keep in mind. Jean with Blind Bold. Now, this guy is also a survivor from the Lynx War, as it says here. His AC is completely different, though. In uh, Armored Core 4, he used the uh, Hilbert model, which had, uh, and he used uh, interior Union weaponry. He, I believe he had uh, laser rifles and laser cannon. In this game, now that Aldra has, expand, uh, has moved towards making their own armaments, albeit uh, leaving in the interior union to make energy weapons, he still has the laser cannon and the radar, but he has the brand new Solnir parts and the lightweight, uh, uh, lightweight bazooka and lightweight grenade rifle. Which I find is kind of weird considering it's a heavyweight bipedal, but... Um, his weapon re weaponry can also do a lot of damage, but he doesn't have a lot of ammunition, except for the laser cannon. The serious laser cannon, which has 24,000 attack power and 24 shots. So it's quite powerful. It's something you need to, to be afraid of. And his next is also... Kind of like the May Greenfield, it's not particularly mobile. But he can output the damage quite quickly. And uh, just to kind of That's something the AI always have trouble with. If you try to, if you just get behind them, they 
they kind of freak out, like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. But, yeah, he, he, he wasn't that tough. Blind Bold, new parts, more AC schematics. Yeah. All of the goodies, all of them. Res, uh, Rezaia with her next ruler. This is the first time you face... Uh, this is the, the lowest user of the Lahir type next. Um, and she is also quite deadly, or she can be. She has a rapid-fire shotgun, a very fast swinging laser blade, as well as missiles. And you see those thingies on her shoulders. Those give her really fast side boosting. And she also has a radar, but who cares about that? And uh, she's a... Uh, I believe there's one mission where you can have her as a support, as a as a consort, but we'll we'll get get there when we get there. That's for later in the game. All right. So, ruler, time to die. I guess one thing I should mention is that her next is effectively a lightweight version of the Aaliyah. Lahir. That's due to uh, Raelianard engineers being picked up by the Omer Corporation after the Lynx War. And I've just kind of been kind of casually paying attention. She's almost dead already. <laughs> Lahir is, uh, ooh, see? There you go. That was her laser blade attack. Did a decent amount of damage, but not enough. AC schematic. Next is Dario Impio. This guy you also can get, get as a consort, and uh, he's also uh, you hear him talk a couple of times in the campaign. Um, he's a Rosenthal. Uh, Lynx, and he, he's basically the opposite of uh, Gerald. He's ambitious and power hungry, as it says here. And his next is also quite good with a laser rifle, laser blade, chain gun, and laser cannon. And he also has assault armor, but he'll never use it. I've never seen him use it in my entire time of playing this game, but it, maybe he has at some point. Maybe I'm just very lucky. I don't know. Sorry about that, just getting some water to clear my throat, because all this talking is hurting my throat. Because problems. His next is, like I said, can be quite uh, dangerous, but as long as you just hammer on, hammer him with uh, high damage weapons, you shouldn't have an issue. I think I've taken the damage. Oh, there's laser cannon. That laser cannon actually, the lightweight laser cannon does a reasonable amount of damage, but... Dual machine guns for the win, just shredding everything apart. There you go. 70,000 credits, transcend, 10 units of FRS. Alright. We'll go, uh, throw those FRS points into my energy output. Now, while I'm here, just real fast, one thing to note is that for anybody who is using this as a walkthrough of sorts, the best, the, the three main things you want to keep an eye out for with regards to your next stats energy recovery average speed and your uh, your boost duration those three those are very big because uh, those give you a general idea of what your next is capable of in the mobility department which is the best like mobility is the best thing to focus on in this game as far in my opinion but um, 
and the energy recovery, which right now, because I only have 15 FRS points, it's only 21,000. On average, you want that to at least be 22,000 for most builds. You can get away with what I have right now for 21,000, but because I have all Aaliyah boosters, I also have a low boost duration of 1,000. And my average speed is... The average speed isn't as much of a thing to worry about. It's just kind of a, a stat. But it kind of gives you a general... Uh, a general idea of how quick your AC is. Mm, excuse me. Next. The, uh, this will be the last Collard rank match of this uh, episode. Tari. With his next Krasnaya. He's also a... I, I believe he's actually one of two pure Aaliyah users in the game. And part of that is because after the destruction of Raelianard at the end of Armored Core 4, uh, Aaliyah parts became really... Not necessarily rare, but very uh, expensive. And so you don't see a lot of Aaliyah parts being used because without any more replacements being made, it's more expensive to maintain them, and so on. And he's actually very similar to a next from Armored Core 4, having a similar style setup. No back weapons, however. He doesn't have any back weapons. He instead only has twin rifles, and you can't see it in the, the little opening thing, but he has a pair of laser blades underneath the rifles when he runs out of ammunition. Which is very unlikely to happen, because he's likely good, likely to die before he runs out of ammunition. He is also quite fast. Just as a... You know, because he's using the same kind of build like me. Albeit with a lot of stabilizer on him. He's also using what is, in my opinion, the best rifle in the game. Which is accurate, has good ammo, good damage, good range... Unfortunately, because the AI's limitations, they don't really hold the fired button, they just kind of burst fire it, so they don't do as much damage as a normal player would. And there you go. Just... Yeah, Cross Naya, he's... Eh, not that good, but... He's, uh... You know... It is uh, actually a fun AC once you get it yourself and you can just rebuild it. Alright, we are now ranked 10. And our next one, our first... Uh, well, actually, we're not going to do Kalar rat ma uh, match bleh, matches next uh, episode. We're going to do some campaign stuff next episode. But, um, thank you for watching. My name is Siphon117, or Siphon Razor. Uh... Please leave a like if you liked. If uh, if you want to watch more, please consider subscribing. And if you dislike the video, dislike it and let me know why you didn't like it. And thank you for watching. And we'll be doing some campaign missions next mat or next episode. And uh, see you all. Have a good day. And uh, bye. Uh